hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel it's been a while if you're new here welcome i'm aubrey jones thank you so much for clicking on this video subscribe to my channel and join this weird little family we've got going on i promise i've got a lot of really cool content it's just up here in my brain right now but eventually it'll make it here into this tiny little camera and then into the tiny little computer in your hand or maybe the big computer on your desk or sitting on your lap i don't know anywho i mean i guess we'll go ahead and jump right in and you can see how i got my face to look this shiny i mean girl come on so yeah keep on watching In the summer, like for my everyday makeup, I always do my foundation first because I just think it creates like a really good clean base and keeps you from like going overboard. I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Natural Beige. So. And I know like every beauty guru tells you like I'm pressing the foundation into my skin and I'm just going to pounce my beauty blender. Boink, 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 boink. This is a real Techniques beauty sponge, by the way. I like the flat side better than the original beauty blender but for my everyday makeup i almost like to wipe it on for some reason with this flat side of the sponge it just gives you such a good finish and it keeps you from like like there's no chance you're gonna get cakey like this basically at this point i am just color correcting my entire face so i want a good coverage foundation but I don't need anything with a thick consistency. And that's why I really like this Born This Way foundation. So next I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is in the shade Very Light. Um, this is a pretty light coverage concealer. So I can get away with going like massively lighter in tone. Just because it blends out so much. Um, and it's just not great coverage. But somebody stole my shape tape out of my car. So this is what I'm using now. Now I'm going to go in with my Winky Lux powder. Um, it's their diamond powder. I'm due for a new one. This one is completely trashed, but it is, oh my god, my favorite. I'm way in the pan, so what I do is just, like, get my brush in there so it, like, starts to kind of break itself up and almost become, like, a loose powder. And that's how I'm going to set the rest of my face. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a little angled brush and my Wonder Brow. This is in the shade Brunette. And before I ever do anything on my eyes, I just like to lay these brows out, honey. Like, give yourself a little framework. Because I'm that girl that will not leave the house without a brow on. Honestly, this is horrible. But, like, brows aren't really a breakout zone. At least for me. Like, I don't get oily right there. So, a lot of times when I take off my makeup, I try to just leave my brows so that if I know I'm not doing anything the next day, they're at least like kind of stained on there so that it's like, oh wow, she's like so youthful and fresh looking and like just has like this very feminine arch to her brows and it's like, no girl, I don't really have any brows. This is just yesterday's wonder brow. So just work with what you've got. Like if you're one of those girls that's blessed with beautiful brows, don't do all of this. Don't buy wonder brow and paint in your brows. like. That's pointless. Like, just get like a good tinted, oh, segue. Okay, are you ready? So, if you're one of those girls that has good brows, just get yourself something like this. Boom. Um, this is the Too Faced Brow Quickie. It's just a tinted brow gel. I'm not particularly married to it. I just like to bring some of this through the front of my brow and up through the arch where things tend to like to grow whatever direction they feel. But I mean, if you already have good full brows, get yourself something like this. Like, you don't have to go paint it in with Wonder Brow so that it stays on for three days. Like, that's pointless. Now I'm going to go in um, and I like to use, like, this is so dumb of me, but I like to use, like, a really dark bronzer even when I'm not that dark. So this is the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil. But for some reason, I just really like the tone of this. Clearly, I've been using it all summer. And I take the same big fluffy brush that I used to set and just do like a really light half-ass contour like you don't every single day have to go in and like carve out your cheekbones with some crazy contouring product like just put you know be strategic with your bronzer get something matte for the low points of your face and something shimmery for the high points of your face and it's just like an easy way to sculpt out your face 
and slim it down a little bit without, you know, taking an hour. So at this point, I actually set my face. Um, I haven't done anything to my eyes yet. I'm just going to go over with my setting spray, soak it down. Then, this is why I love these flat-sided, excuse you, Real Techniques Beauty Blenders because you can take the flat side and just press the setting spray into your face. And then I'm gonna go in with, you know, the same brush that I set my face with. I'm a double dipper, I don't care. And this is the best. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, which everyone raves about and what? Precious petals. So, this one's like a gorgeous rose gold and I am just gonna lay that down right on the top of my cheekbone and gag like it is so beautiful. Okay, so now for eyes. Every day in the summer, I have been wearing eyeshadow like quite frequently. Like when I do wear makeup, I do put on eyeshadow. So, I'm gonna just take a fluffier blending brush and I'm going into my Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. And I like to use, these matte shades are like, stop, they're so good. So I like to go in to the two matte brown shades of So Bougie and Cocoa Truffle and just hit the outer part of that eye socket. And then just kind of like coax it in a little bit and I like to bring it, like, it's almost like a halo-y effect. Like, you just want to blend this to filth. I like to lay down those matte shades, honestly, lashes, and get the hell out the door at this point if you want. Like, I could be done here. I could totally be done with my face. But sometimes I like to take my finger and a creamy light shade. This one's rolling in the dough from the same palette and throw a little of that under the brow bone going on like a normal eyeshadow brush this is the precious petals again and just lay a little bit of it down on the inner corner and you know up over the lid this is what is this oh it's the smashbox always on gel eyeliner and i sometimes will take this and just hit that waterline a little bit And then also right here. And I am barely touching my eye with this, okay? Like, I just want to draw, like, right next to my eyelashes. And get then I'm going to take just a regular eyeshadow brush. Clearly, this is what I use this for because it's already black. And just smudge it. A oh, leave me alone. Smudge it a little bit. I know you're not supposed to pull on your eyelids. Okay, now I'm just gonna wrap up with a little bit of mascara. This is the Lancome, I forgot to tell you what this is. The Long Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. And I need to get the full size of this because I got the sample and I am like elated with it. But like, why are they not cruelty free? This is definitely preferable to my better than sex mascara which is a goodie but nothing beats a long comb mascara let me know when you find something some like all summer long I've just been doing a nude lip I don't know what it is occasionally I'll wear no eye makeup and just put on like a hot coral or a hot pink and love that look but whenever I put anything like bronzy on my eyes I just think nothing compliments it better than a nude lip and this one is gorgeous and like nice and peachy it's by dollop beauty and it's in the shade peace and like no matter what there's always a dollop beauty creme de matte liquid lipstick in my purse in my car in my kit it is like the best formula i've ever used and i'm not just saying that because they're from my hometown okay like it's good and there you have it here's the finished look this is what i look like this is what i've been wearing every day but yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It's been great having you here. It's been great chit-chatting with you. And I will catch you guys in my next video. If you have any requests, feel free to leave them down below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share with your friends.